We are striving to create a record of the musical culture of American Jewry from the beginning. The Jewish experience in America is a secular experience as much as it is a religious experience. The Milken Archive is the full range in terms of its artistic expression. In 1990, the Milken Family Foundation embarked upon a vast recording project to preserve and disseminate the rich and diverse body of Jewish music created in America over the past 250 years. This is unquestionably the largest and most comprehensive project ever undertaken in the United States. It has grown from 20 CDs to enough music for more than 90 CDs, nearly 700 pieces of music so far, and representing more than 250 composers. The archive project is significant because it is going to both preserve and disseminate a whole category of music that I think has been largely ignored in American musical life. Lowell Milken is a rare individual in that he understands inst instinctively the value of this kind of undertaking artistically, educationally, Jewishly, and culturally. The archive is discovering recording, preserving, and disseminating a body of music as diverse and beautiful as America itself. people washes over us with restorative powers and takes us to a better place, a happier place, a place where the heart can dance the dance of life. Our mantra has been from the beginning, get the best. The reviews tell us that we're on the mark. The quality of our recordings is borne out by the fact that one of our major producers, David Frost, received the honor of Classical Producer of the Year at the Grammy Awards for five of our Milken Archive CDs. It was a great honor to have won the Grammy for Classical Producer of the Year. All of the recordings I produced, which were associated with this award, were for the Milken Archive. I think it is a real vote of confidence and an acknowledgement of the wonderful work that the Milken Archive has done. The Milken Archive recordings feature a cross-section of talent, including student choirs and ensembles representing major conservatories and universities across America. It challenges us as musicians, but also as people, that we can do something outside of ourselves, something that we're not familiar with. One of the very important parts of the archive is our oral history interviews with the composers and conductors and musicians, the people who bring the music to life. When I left and went to the Catskill Mountains to start thinking, Chazan of Shabbos was my big number. Oh. Donkey Serenade, and Chazan the Chazan of Shabbos, and Figaro from the Barber of Seville. And uh, I loved the, I loved the, uh, 
Sie kommen zur Corona, kein steht der Lacher, sind da, wenn er noch schon hab, 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 bis, oi, da, wenn er noch Es ist gekommen, hätte der drei Stenzen Balabat, der lief nur stehen, der drei Stenzen Balabat. I knew so little about Jewish culture, it's shameful, until I started living in New York at age 19 or 20. I met young Jews who were singing and who were attracted to the kind of banjo I was playing, and they were combining it the Appalachian mountain banjo with songs like Arza Alinu, and they, it seemed to fit. I walked over to Jaime Jacobson, and I said to him, I can sing. You want to hear me sing? He says, uh, all right, I'll give you some time. And I started to sing, Mama is the best from Shinsky's. Mama is the best of friend. She is the same as Lacht and Shine. May God can join, but weiss wie schlecht. Is all his mother, mom, and the rest. I don't think that I can possibly write a piece of music, no matter what I do and what I will try, which does not have the stamp of my Jewish existence. Even when I set out to write something symphonic or chamber music or string quartet, my Gentile friend tell me, this is a full piece of Jewish music. When these people are no longer with us, there will be no way that we can learn much of this information, let alone capture a feeling for what the aura was like. Our mission is to take music related to the American Jewish experience, both sacred and secular, and to make that music available to people of all denominations. <laughs>